Hello guys, if you are looking for more information on this blockchain project called Privacy, you are on the right video. So hello guys, today I'm going to review this project called Privacy. I just had the opportunity to invest in it using Quai Labs and I would like to tell you more on this content and uh, doing this review. So first of all, what is privacy? It's a world first FHEML interference network. So it's an AI based project, which has for purpose to define a new protocol for encryption called FHE, and who is going to help privacy protection, especially in the use of AI, uh, which is becoming nowadays very important. I had the chance to review the website and uh, the white paper from the project, and I'm going to give you my feedback on it. So first of all, um, there is an interesting part, which is there are app that you should have a look. Uh, they are targeting to encode uh, this protocol and uh, making sure with NFTs that humans are really humans and making sure also when you launch a project in blockchain that all your users can scan their biometric data and making sure that they really exist. So it also mean that when you launch NFT projects, you can make sure that only humans own coins and that you have the right biometric information and that everything is encrypted with the FHE protocol, which is fully homomorphic encryption. This project, uh, the good part of it, it has been uh, backed by the Binance Lab, and I think that's good. But on the other side, after reviewing the white paper, I found out that there are many issues. First of all, first of all uh, it's an AI very technical project. So as a non-coding user or non-developer, you may find a lot of issues understanding the white paper and its uh, technical aspects. Also, the strengths of the project, actually, quickly, what are the strengths of the project? The FHE for AI computation, this protocol looks very interesting and has a lot of things that they will be able to develop on it. Adding blockchain integration into this kind of protocol will enhance security and trust through the decentralized technologies. Uh, it's also a user-centric approach. Uh, it's designed to be accessible to users with varying levels of technical expertise. Where I think there could be some improvement, uh, the complexity of the project, like I said, it's too much technical uh, features uh, for FHE and blockchain and non-expert users may not understand the stake of the project. Uh, scalability, how the network will scale with a significant, significant increase in users and computations could be further clarified, which has not been the case in the white paper. Performance metrics, more detailed ben benchmarks on computation efficiency and comparison with non-FHE systems will be beneficial, it's not added here. Adoption strategy, what is the strategy from the team to facilitate widespread adoption and real-world application examples would also add practical value in this presentation. So to show you quickly on the white paper, you can see the detail. It looks very technical. Uh, it looks like research documents with a lot of computations. And I think that's probably not what end user in cryptos before deciding to invest will look at. Also, so that the team, the project is uh, made by a Swedish team with also some uh, Chinese support, uh, but there are absolutely no detail on the team, which I think could have been nice to be added. Having to know more on them will be a very good thing. Development progress and roadmap uh, at this stage is uh, very limited on the description uh, that would have been good to add this. Uh, partnerships and collaborations, uh, any strategic partnerships or collaboration with established companies or institutions can indicate the project industry acceptance and potential growth. Also the community and ecosystem, we already have 50,000 uh, followers now on X, okay, here, and we have about 43,000 people on Telegram, okay. So on my side, I find the project very interesting because it's uh, adding a new encryption data protocol into AI and blockchain. And I believe the aim of this project, especially knowing now the hype on AI and uh, encryption makes it a very interesting project. I think the fact Binance Labs has backed the project also show that the, the team must be good. But again, we don't have this information. And everything about security protocol nowadays uh, makes a lot of sense. I try to check more uh, data on the token and its information. So, so the token name is called PRVA and we had the opportunity to participate to the private sale using Oxbull the tech and the Quai Labs version of it. Uh, so I actually, on my side, I don't give any financial advice, uh, but I have put a small amount in during this private sale. I really wish to see what the team is going to achieve. And I believe these subjects are very sensitive in nowadays world. I believe the part where we could really uh, make sure there are no fake profiles participating into the NFT collections and stuff like that makes a lot of sense. And EKYC is also very important. So having all these protocols to, 
to protect people's identity on my opinion makes a lot of sense in blockchain. I really hope the team will have time to develop more on their skills, their team, uh, giving also more information on the things which were missing in the documents and make it also the documentation and the website more accessible and more easy to understand for people. Thank you so much for following this video. If you want to know more on new crypto blockchain projects, especially during private sale stage before they go out on the market, please follow my YouTube channel, Jesse Metavi, and I see you soon for a new crypto project presentation. Good luck to privacy.